What's going on YouTube? Gang gang gang, it's your boy Yoda. And I know y'all like, I know he ain't dropping another video. I know he ain't dropping another video. Yes, I dropped another video. Coming to you guys, cause I know I've been promising y'all videos, but I haven't been kicking them out as I should be. But y'all probably like, who is this to the right of me? And every time I make a video, it's always a new person, right? Cause I'm always in another state, okay? You join the Navy and you travel a lot, all right y'all? I'm gonna let him introduce himself, so go ahead. So guys, uh, I'm GSM3 Morin. See how he's an IT, I'm a GS. Yes. GS, I work on the engines. I work on the engines on the ship. I'm in the engine rooms. Work on the components around the engines, like the, how the fuel gets to the engine, uh, how the how the lube oil gets up into the engine, what happens if it breaks down. All right. No. So guys, today we're gonna be giving you guys the difference <clears throat> and the difference in lifestyle, the perspective from an IT and also from an engine man. Not an engine man, but a GSM, you know, like engineer. All right guys, but just because I haven't seen you guys in so long, I was like, it's perfect just to give you guys this. I've been seeing comments, y'all wanna see the different perspectives and I can't just purposely talk about my rate when you guys need other rates, you know? So without further ado, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if y'all see this man in the fleet, let him know you from Yoda Gang, all right? So you guys, this is kinda gonna be like a and a more so for you guys. I can't talk about my job as much, so I'm bringing you guys somebody that can talk about their job openly all right so i'm just asking some questions also you guys make sure you leave comments down below what you want to know about certain rates and i'm gonna definitely see i'm no you know i can definitely get the person and we could get a video because i know you guys got all type of rates and you want to see it so i'm gonna bring him here we're gonna do a video and i can give you the answers that i never got because the recruiters don't give you what your actual job is all right so that's besides the point make sure you leave a like comment subscribe once again and let's get straight to the video all right, so the first question we're gonna do: What's your rate? Um, my rate's a GSM, which is a <clears throat> gas turbine systems technician, mechanical. It's kind of long in the tooth, but basically to give the rundown of what we do, we uh, we reside in the engine rooms. It's like our like our habitat, so to speak. We basically live down there, and uh, we work on the systems surrounding the gas turbine engines. So we would work on any system that brings uh, brings fuel up to the engines, any system that brings lube oil up to the engines. Uh, we work on the pitch for the propellers because the propellers will change pitch in the water. That's how they move. We work on that. See, yeah. look, also, I'm also learning too because this is, this is, is it in my, oh, I can't even talk right now, but it isn't my job. So I'm learning as you guys are learning. Like I said, if you guys want any other rates, drop them down below. I'll definitely get them in, and then we can do it. All right, so how long was your A school as a GSM? Uh, my A school is a GSM. Uh, it depends on your uh, your hold times at uh, Great Lakes, Illinois, where it, the where the A school is. Explain hold times. Uh, well, just so they understand. All right, a hold time is uh, is basically you're just waiting on class or class times open up. Yeah. Like me, I was waiting for I was waiting for like two months. Yeah, me just, too. Yeah. Actually, yeah. But okay, so where was your A school? Um, my A school is literally right across the street from boot camp, Great Lakes, Illinois, <laughs> man. See, you guys, I don't know if you guys know, based off of rates, you get put in different locations for uh, your schooling. Like, mm -hmm. I was at IT, so <clears throat> my schooling, I was actually in Quarry Station, that's all the way in Pensacola, Florida. And as you say, him, he was a GSM, yours was in Chicago, Illinois. Great Lakes, Illinois. Yeah, Great Lakes, like right across the street. So and like uh, like sonar techs usually go to school out in like Point Loma. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of aviation rates actually I think all of them go to school in Pensacola. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. Um, aviation rates definitely go to Pensacola. Um, IT rates and you know CTRs and you know computer rates they go to Pensacola. And I know MAs they go to Texas, right? Yeah, they go to Fort Sam Houston in right. Texas. And the uh, the MAs and uh, the corpsmen, the Navy corpsmen, like the docs. Mm -hmm. Those guys train alongside like army medics, right. uh, air force medics, and like army MPs and uh, air force security forces. They all train mm -hmm. at the same base. Mm -hmm. So there's that. All right. So how was it in your A school? Like how was the A school for you? Uh, mine's kind of a fluke because like when I went through boot camp, uh, COVID was happening. Mm. So. Great Lakes, too. Great Lakes, Illinois, man. That it was. It was locked down. Really? So you couldn't go anywhere? No. And See, you guys, they kind of got the pleasure of joining. Because now I hear you can get, uh, as long as you come in vaccinated, then you don't got to do the two-week quarantine. Because you got to do the two-week quarantine, right? 
Oh, coming in? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah. See, <clears throat> my A school was pretty lit. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Corey Station is well, at the time I was there, Corey Station has been fun, you know. This was this was this was actually not too long ago, probably like last year. Yeah. No, I Corey Station. Yeah, Corey Station was like six months ago, something like that. But mine was pretty good, man. I'm sad that you had a bad experience. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But okay, so what is a day in the life like of a GSM? Of a like, GSM? Yes. Well it depends on the level you're at. Okay. Like if you're a if you're a fireman, mm -hmm. you would call it a seaman, it's an E three. Right. Yeah. Then uh, you probably wake up uh, like six in the morning. Well, 5 30, 6 o'clock. You usually trip, serve chow around seven. Go get your morning chow. Uh, report to your work center, which, pardon me, is uh, in your in your engine space. All right. So like me, for example, I'm in main engine room two. Okay. So I would report to my second class, which is one above me, mm -hmm. and he would give me my maintenance for the day. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, okay. So you just report to your second class, and he tells you like what to do, yeah. kind of. So he gets he gets all that from uh, from I think it's goodness I'd have to look it up. So it's like you don't go on and work and just like work on like engines and oil and stuff. No, right? No, we do. Uh, well, like like we do we do our PMS. Our PMS is our planned maintenance schedule. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So that's kind of similar. So guys, as an IT, <clears throat> I wake up around the same time. But when I go in, the first thing you do, I promise you, as IT, the first thing you're going to do, you're going to run to the computer and check your email. Because we kind of sort out, well, right now, <clears throat> in the status we are, we sort out a whole bunch of, well, I know I do, you know, because I'm not as high. But as a, a IT3, I sort out a lot of help desk tickets, you mm -hmm. know, because a lot of people got help desk tickets. They got to get accounts created because there's a lot of new people coming in and out. And... First, you start off doing help desk tickets. You're doing, you know, all type of forms and just making sure everybody has an account created. And honestly, after that, you kind of chilling. <laughs> you know, man, I'm not I gonna. Wish. Yeah, I wish. Man. I'm not gonna lie. So, okay, so <laughs> explain to them how y'all. I see him like he shines his boots every every day, right? Every day, guys. I. Every Let me day. not say this, but I don't shine my boots as much. And they also have a lot of um, uniform inspections, right? Yeah, our our command is different though. Mm -hmm. Like it depends on your command. Like your command could be very lenient with your boots. Like if you're working hard, you're really getting in, going at it every day, then they'll look, they'll overlook uh, a lot of stuff as far as uniform and appearance goes sometimes. Mm -hmm. But our command really likes to have squared away, good looking uniforms, shine boots, mm. You know, and, it, and it, even even within the command, like it depends on the department. Like I'm engineering department, right. he's IT department. Well, combat systems. Combat yeah. systems. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. But that, that's why you can't talk about it because it's secret scroll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't really talk about it too much. That's what I was telling you guys. But y'all, like it's just a huge difference between. That's why, like, I be trying to explain to them, choose your rate, you know, and you choose how you'll like military life is going to go man there's, man. A, there's a phrase you're going to hear in the navy it's called choose your rate choose, choose your, your fate, fate man. yes y'all and also Depends. these recruiters you know they come in and tell you guys that you'll be able to change your rate and stuff like that and um it's not that easy honestly to change your rate no, no it's not, not at all it's not easy man well it depends like <clears throat> when you're in the debt program mm -hmm. that don't mean squat man okay i mean debt is like until you ship off it really not too legally binding but it's just a lot of paperwork. Mm. Okay. So, is there anything else that you want to tell them about GSM? Like, anything uh, else? Um, if, if you guys are looking at like our coveralls and you like, they look different. Yeah. They are different. And it works. Yeah, and it's not because it our rates or anything. Represent. Uh, these are just like the newer ones, but these are the better ones. Mm -hmm. These are the older ones, but they're the better ones. Hey, the older ones? What are you talking about? These are the newer ones. Hold on. Ah, uh, you you don't got your belt on though. No, I don't. The key difference between these is that, his uniform yeah. is that his is they call them FRVs. Right. It's I honestly don't know what the acronym stands for, either. but like him, he's got to wear a belt. I don't got to yeah. wear a belt with mine. These are required belt wear, and that isn't really. And those have a secret pocket. What you talking about? Secret pocket. They got you gonna the, tell them about the secret pocket? They got the happy pocket. The happy pocket. Yeah. You tell them about the happy <laughs> yeah, pocket. Look, <laughs> y'all. Look, man. It's a lot. But, um, Shit. yeah, man, Mark, I just man. wanted to, no, you good, man, they're, they're cool, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm still here, and, you know, 
Still alive. Still alive. <laughs> Sorry for not uploading, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, just want to give you guys an update on my life and where I've been. I'm okay. Obviously, I'm still here, you know what I'm saying? We both ranking up. We both we both started class, you know? So, you know, and we both made it pretty young, right? Yeah, you're you're younger than me. Yeah, you made it so <laughs> Me know. You, man. I've but, only been I've only been in the Navy for what, like a year now? Yeah, me too. I just About hit, a year? Yeah, I, yeah, I just hit my year. Just Dang. hit my year, man. Wait, when did you when did you hit your year? Uh September fifteenth. September fifteenth. Ooh, I've been longer than you have. Yeah? Yeah? By about a month. Oh, damn. Yeah, see man. Oh, there got my camera dying. Look guys, if you enjoyed the video, I'm sorry because it's dying right now. But make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You wanna shout out your social medias or anything, man? Uh I just I mostly just post dumb stuff on there. Alright, yeah, yeah, man. Look, dumb look man. That's what it is. Make sure you guys comment down below any more rates you want to see. Comment down below some oh. questions that you got for him if you want. On Snap is J Rolligan. J R O L L I G A N. All lowercase. Just all lowercase, y'all. Hit me up. Make sure I go run him up. Look, man, shout out to him. Appreciate you for being in the video, man. Like I said, if you guys have any comments that you guys want, like any questions that you got, because this is your rate. Yeah. Or if you're a GSM, we'll do a part two for the video and here answer all the questions, man. Any more questions that you guys got for any more rates, just drop them down below. I got you guys, man. Don't forever forget, it's your boy, Yoda. And we got this thing, man.